this is Paolo Carapage and welcome back to another episode of a curious expedition to Alpha 12. We are currently still stuck in a cavern. Uh, we've been playing around with some new items though, which has been very, very interesting. We have this, the Theodolite. It, well, it puts these big lines into the map so you can see where you're looking before even getting there, which is great. And more importantly, as far as the caverns are concerned, they stay open. So uh, it does make, if you get the line up quite well, because it does do it by the diagonal or the or straight angles so you can't really choose a, a bit of a weird angle to look at it does mean that you have to be in the right position in order to use it but it is very useful we also have a treasure map which doesn't work and another treasure map which we haven't come across yet at least as far as i can see uh, but being in a cabinet is more difficult to notice it and uh, we're on our way to looking at this measurement here and then this measurement up here but not before we go and have a look at the shrine and loot whatever we can down there. We gave a little bit of uh, uh, good, gracious uh, items to the locals just to keep them happy because they were a tad angry and they do appear to have calmed down a little, which is great. Um, but uh, no doubt we'll be angering them a lot more before we finish up here. So let's take some measurements, shall we? Setting up my surveying tools, I managed to capture crucial measurements for the Royal Avalon Society. Only one more site remained until my notes were complete. Cool. And then on to the shrine. We're going to stay north of it because you've always got to have an escape plan. Uh, what be you? Plundering treasure. Use the plunderer's kit to gain sanity from treasure. That is awesome. Thank you for that. Um, and we don't know. So we're not going to worry too much about it. However, we will pop the tent up. Because... I like to scarf it on full sanity. I looked upon the campsite as I had erected here in the wilderness. It felt almost like home, you know. We prepared to camp for an extended rest. It was a beautiful night. I was filled with contentment. That evening, I noticed a stout Eleanor Durand regaling Kezia Cooper with her exploits, shamelessly bragging about her accomplishments. I have rabies, you know. After what seemed like hours, Cooper finally snapped. Cutting Durand off mid-story, Cooper shouted at her to quit boasting and shut up. Quiet, you fool! This comment was not well received. Oh, great. I attempted to pour oil on troubled waters, but the two were consumed with fury and ignored me. The row soon became personal and the insults as caustic as they were loud. Friends, calm yourselves. After that night, those two would see eyes I know on nothing, causing no end of grief for the party. Oh, lordy. All right, well, fine, I guess. I mean... There's a big negative on keeping the cook around anyway because of the rabies. So if we can replace her, then we could replace her. I blinked my eyes sleepily as the sun rose. The extended rest in this camp had done me good. Great. Let's see what else is going to happen. The full moon stood bright above me. Somehow it seemed larger in these lands than I had ever seen before. Perhaps a figment of my imagination. Perhaps perhaps. The camp was lit with a beautiful silvery sheen. I had a sense that the moon was watching over me, guarding against the normally unseen perils of wildlife. Lovely. Beautiful. Right. Boom. Let's, uh, let's pack up the camp, shall we? We've got some looting to do. Um, what be you? Machinery. Oh, it's a lava crocodile. That's right, they suck anyway. Uh, let's, uh, well, let's approach the shrine, I guess. The temple before me wanted both fear and respect. I arrived at a long forgotten shrine. The temple was shrouded in tendrils of a dark purple fog, which much like the mysterious mists that surrounded the island. Cool. Um, inside was a small damp chamber. A long hallway led to the altar room ahead. I took a breath, keeping an eye out for traps. We shall look for traps. Show me the traps. Ooh, by the skin of our teeth. Beneath some debris, I discovered a hidden trapdoor in the floor. Opening it, I saw a second gloomy chamber beneath this one. I lowered myself into the hole, low, low, la, 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 landing lightly on my feet in the hidden area below. I found myself among the ruined remains of an arcanist workshop that had been destroyed in some kind of fire. Perhaps something here could still be salvaged. Uh, does it put me overburdened? In which case, I'm not that fussed. Because I'm going to have to scrap something in a minute anyway. So, never mind. So, let's get in that altar chamber, I guess. I considered the main chamber once more. A thin layer of mysterious fog hid the base of the altar. 
I feared that disturbing the treasure would cause the fog to spread. Oh, 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 juicy. Juicy Lucy. I felt a strange sensation in my stomach as if the floor had dropped away. When I emerged from the shrine, I saw great banks of dark fog gathering on the horizon. Oh, it changed. Purples. I mean, we can't get out this way anyway, so it is just straight north for us. However, we are going to have to drop some stuff. What are we going to drop? Um, 20. That's 10. The shot they can go, I suppose. Excuse me. <coughs> um, the blue tonic m m might come in useful, I suppose. Get out of my face. And you know what? I think we're just going to uh, risk it. So we'll get rid of you. Now, whilst we're here, I can't heal. I, I thought it might be worth just having a look to see if I could heal it. Uh, but no, apparently not. Um, it's time we were promoted, don't you think? I'd love to promote you, Kezia, but if I've got to get rid of you rather than the cook, I will do. So, yes. Let's depart, shall we? Uh, Estella and all Duran's illness had caused her to grow steadily more erratic that evening. She seemed particularly irritable about the smallest of things. That's fine. If as long as that is all, I'll try and keep her out of the water as much as I can. I mean, does this mean her loyalty is going down? Loyalty is pretty low. All right. Oh well, look at that. I can't actually get through here. I'm gonna have to go around. All right, well. What must be, must be. Oh. Do I dare? I dare. I dare. Uh, village. Okay. Uh, they but might be able to help, I guess. I was welcomed with a traditional gift of more hospitality, shards of crystal. Uh, yeah, I know I can't rest. My, the villagers seemed displeased by my presence. My reputation here was clearly poor. That's fine. I just want to see if there's anything else I can take off your hands. You know, help you out a little bit. Uh, da, 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 da. So you get that in turn and that. In turn, I want that. And... Excuse me. <coughs> Uh, I mean, <sighs> they like their shards. They like their shards. I don't like treasure maps. So how does that put us? A little bit over. Um, two of those. I don't want to really give them all away just in case I need them again. I think that's a good trade. I mean, we're going to lose these, aren't we? Is that another shard? It is now. Uh, I think that is as good as we're going to get. So cool. That works. Deal. Uh, I mean, oh, oh, we are overburdened. All right. Is it just one slot overburdened we are? Hmm. To which point? 20. If I was to... Uh, how much are they worth? 10. How much are they worth? 25. So if I gave you those... And I took... That. And that. There we go. We're all good. And we're being followed. That's fine. 
That's fine. All right, so yeah, we need to carry on going north. This purple fog is getting awfully thick. Uh, it also caused her to grow more steadily erratic that evening. She seemed particularly irritable about the smallest of things. That's fine. I mean, I can cope with that. That is a okay with me. Where the hell am I going? Northeast. Let's get to there. Into there. And we're getting away from the purple now, so that's good. And let's rest up. We need to find a different place. All right, we'll move on a little bit. How about there? There we go. So picky. Jeez. All right, so. That's probably going to cost us with something going on now. But that's fine. Right. Dot of Apes seemed glum tonight. She expressed regret at joining me in my travels. Oh, don't be like that, Dot of Ape. Don't be like that. <laughs> Just about. It seems my words had soothed her pain. Awesome. I mean, don't let the fact that we're lovers come into it. You know, whether you want to stick around or not. You know, loyalty and all that. Oh, I've got more people ready for promotion. Cool. We'll hold off to the next expedition now. I blink my eyes sleepily as the sun rose. Sleeping with a roof over one's head was a luxury I was seldom afforded. That evening, Donovan pointed at a heavy boulder and loudly proclaimed that it was much too heavy to lift. If successful, I would surely gain her respect. Would I be able to prevail? Yes. Yes. My muscles were burning, but I was proud of my success. Donovan patted me on the back sometime. Sometimes might did make right. Cool. Everyone's happy. Everyone's happy. Doogadum. So. We might as well rest once more. It means we don't have to rest again as soon. A stout Eleanor Durand was coming to me with a gloom look on her face. She said that she couldn't stand that constant stress at Kezi Cooper anymore. She asked me if I could help with settling the dispute between those two by talking to Kezi Cooper. I wasn't sure if I could get myself involved with this. Ugh. No. I'll only make it worse. I felt... Like, as the leader of this expedition, I shouldn't interfere with personal issues of my companions. So I apologised but went to bed. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. One loyalty. I think we're going to lose her anyway, aren't we? Uh, we should have rested. We did not rest. Rest! I was in the conversation with Estelle Elena Duran this evening when I heard Kezia Cooper approaching. I expected to see yell at Duran again, but instead she asked me if it was all right to borrow Duran for a moment. Oh. Of course, I had no problem with that, and from what I heard, did it sound like they finally sorted out their issues? The whole atmosphere of this night was way calmer now. Awesome. Awesome. That's what, see, just, that's all we need. Just need to, need to chill out a bit. I mean, I'm not getting any extra... I just, I just want to rest, that's all. I don't need this drama. I just want to rest. I, I want to get my sanity up and be happy. I could hear some strange noises nearby. The agonised cry sounded like someone in, or something in pain. Or could this be a trap? Well, we'll go and investigate. I followed the sounds and found a woman native to this land. She was badly hurt. I could see a nasty wound on her leg and it looked infected. Have a medikit. The woman was in luck. I had medical supplies to spare. She thanked me profusely. Or saving her life. She thanked us but declined any further help before walking off into the darkness. Can I rest now, please? That's all I wanted to do from the start. Just rest. Hey, there we go. No drama. And we're back up to full sanity. Although the purple stuff has probably creeped in. Uh, let's uh, move to the north. I mean, well, let's not move too far to the north. Let's move a little bit up to the north. And see what opens up. Uh, we might have a giant centipede to take on here. That's fine. Just out of my reign of terror. There we go. How are we doing for health anyway? I think everyone's alright, aren't they? Uh, let it be. Let's use this fear the light. 
And we've got a straight run after anyway. 180. We've done worse this time around. So. Mm, not too bad as we roll. Uh, we'll get rid of you and you and you. The rest we shall keep. Good roll. Good roll. So. We're going to throw up a big vulnerability. Pop. Uh, we are going to duplicate that die. Because why the hell not? And we're going to do a big hit on the gold guns. And then a big hit. Ooh, 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 ooh. A big hit. Oh, there we go. Didn't even need to make him bleed. Cool. What we got? Uh, well, we'll take those. 20 fame there. I'm going to drop the shovels and we'll take the centipede legs instead. And then we're going to cook the meat and eat the meat. And then make our way this way, I guess. Unless we come across anything in the meantime. I will stop travelling if I have to. Oh, God. No, it's all right. She's just a little bit annoyed. Is she Is she still on one loyalty? That's fine. Let's go down south. I mean, it would appear. Waterfall. I'm not fussed by a waterfall. It would have... Now, why do you want to kick out of the water, though? That's not good. Um, it, it would appear we're done around here. Oh, yeah, no, we've done that one, haven't we? Uh, we're going to have to go through the fog. Oh, did I travel too far? Oh, my bad. I'll go to it then. There we go. Measurements. Setting up my surveying tools, I managed to capture crucial measurements for the Royal Avalon Society. My work here was complete. Oh, I should have gone to that other place first. Never mind. Never mind. The survey is complete. Cool. Bit of sanity back, bit of experience. It's all good. It's all good. So, fair few tickets there. Oh, coins for days. It's bubbling now as well, the water. I've obviously put some carbon dioxide in it. We're just missing the coke formula. Let me get up coke. Good goal left. Wow, listen to all the different sounds. <laughs> and we got this filling up as well. That's also very cool. I'm liking all these little graphical tweaks. They're just... They're just putting a little bit more uh, sort of um, sparkle to the game. It's nice. Oh, we've got our carrier pigeon back. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, always forget about this. Uh, so we've got Raid of Tombs. I'll first about practical botany. Does not trigger needle plants when traveling. Or desert survival. You know what? We're going to go for practical botany. As I returned to Paris, I knew I should hurry to inform Malin of my latest findings. I had indeed noticed strange patches of fog roaming on that island. Perhaps it was a clue. Perhaps. The word spread, the Royal Avalon Society and the Taishi Academy wants us to help the indigenous people of the islands with whatever tasks they set us. So, here's the thing. We have uh, you. Oh, are you cured of rabies now? I think you're cured. Good to note. We've got four, four, uh, 60 uh, sanity. Can we... We can't upgrade two people. It's a darn shame. I think I'm going to upgrade the cook. Because... Hmm, it's only one extra sanity though, isn't it? The thing is, it doesn't tell you how much money you're going to save if you were to promote them. I suppose at this point, has anyone not got their dies locked out? Me. Yeah. I think I'll go for the bonus. There we go. Why not? Promoted to level six. 
Uh, how is loyalty in general? One out of four, three out of four, four out of four. Yeah, so we need to bring up the loyalty. I'll try and keep that in mind in case we come across any items where we can uh, uh, do that sort of thing. However, I don't need to worry about getting rid of the rabies now, which is good. So we can go straight to the equipment dealer and see what's going on. I found the dealer skulking in a dark alleyway. He grinned rakishly at me as I approached. Oh, it's another new one. The hunting knife. A sharp knife used for skinning animals. Very cheap as well. Very cheap. Oh, I can sell it. All right. Um, it's bleeds. I'm not a fan of bleeds. I mean, with these, they're pretty pretty hard-hitting. I think I'm going to leave the, the cleaver for the time being. We'll try and upgrade the cleaver next, I suppose. Uh, everything else is a bit meh, to be honest with you. I mean, we've got this. Plus 11 sanity over plus 9. 58 in. Or, or are we dealing with tickets here? So we've one ticket. Gives us 28. I, mean, I don't think it's worth the extra tickets for the extra little bit of sanity you get. That's the only issue I've got. I mean, this. 35. 2. That's 10 tickets for that. I might as well upgrade. I might as well just upgrade. Um, let's pop to the, the old uh, pub. I couldn't find men in anywhere, but the barkeep handed over a disturbing note in her hand. I can't wait no longer for you to return. Isabella Bird has discovered promising information and I tend to follow up on it. If she's out moonlighting with Isabella Bird after all the grief she's put me through, knowing that grief, fought alongside me to knock her down a peg or two, I'll be most disappointed. Having taken the staff and crystal and set sail with Isabella Bird, I regret that you cannot join us, but time is of the essence. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. By the time you read this, I shall likely have activated the being engine and a new era of peace will have begun. Let us celebrate it together upon my return. Victoria Mail. I feel like I've been given the shaft. Not only had she stolen these priceless artifacts, but her relentless quest seemed likely to endanger us all. I would need to pursue Mail and make her see reason before it was too late. Ugh. So, no one new here. Again, I was looking to see if we had anyone new. I'm not first. Oh, saying that though, they're all maxed out. I can't increase myself. Uh, increased heal speed of plus 80. That is good. That is good. However, she's a hothead. Uh, what do you do anyway? We've got heals and removed. Oh, it's clean. Okay. That's good. Uh, yes. Quails. Awesome. Sanity of plus 30. That is very high. Shields and strength boost. Things are working. I'm quite happy to take this group into the last big expedition because they've been with me through thick and thin. Well, you haven't. You uh, you uh, soldier person, but hey, you haven't failed me yet. Uh, right, so let's let's up, uh, let's upgrade. I mean, this is the last time we're going to be upgrading here, so got to make it count. Got to make it count. Uh, we have you. So 14 to upgrade you. Uh, and 17 to upgrade you. So I can do both of them. I think that's the thing to do. Because you don't do anything more other than put up damage. But it doesn't actually give me more die fronts. Same with you. Same with you. So yeah, it's, it's the cleaver and the whip all the way. So upgrade you. Upgrade you. And we've got three tickets left. Cool. Uh, da, 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 da. There's nothing else to do here, is there? There is nothing else to do here. So here we go. The engine of creation. The Explorer Club's had many requests. The clubs are hiring. Pursue Malin on her quest to find the being engine. The final expedition of this campaign. Alright, here we go with the Avalon. 
It was my last night in Paris and I decided to celebrate over drinks. The night before we were to leave, Estelle Eleanor Durand approached me hesitantly. She confessed she wasn't sure if this expedition stuff is right for her. Oh, God. This is not the time to be hitting me with this. Please. Ugh, great. Using all my persuasive charms, I managed to reignite Durand's passion for exploring. I would not lose a valuable companion after all. Very very valuable companion <laughs> if we'd lost the cook at the start that is my strategy down the pan <laughs> but never mind we got there we're doing all right <sighs> all right so let's swoop into the island have a quick mooch and then i think we shall call it here as i neared the site of the expedition a small supply ship pulled alongside i hope the royal avalon society would provide some useful equipment for my expedition what's that 15 that'll do i mean the temp would have been perfect but never mind so but they do have chocolate they do have chocolate and the medicates are cheap as well let's take don't want to do that i mean that is that is 75 there for the potential of a hundred sanity. Whereas that is a hundred for a hundred sanity. But we are going to be killing stuff. I just don't want the, the alcoholic traits that could be disastrous. I'm going to have to risk it, aren't I? Well, we got three of everything. So we have three of you. We'll take some more of you. We'll take some blue. Uh... That'll do. I think that'll do. Seems pretty, pretty even, Stephen. That'll do. My equipment chosen, I consider if there was yet more to be done before I landed on the shoreline. We want some water. Then let's go. I could not say if Malin's actions here would cause harm or good. But I knew that I no longer entirely trusted her to make the right decision. She does seem a little bit eccentric. That's what you call rich, mad rich people, isn't it? Following coordinates I found in her office, I had made my way to this island. I did not know what I would find here, but perhaps the natives would have more information. So, we are going to look for the natives. Cool. Oh, look. There they are. Right, well. Oh, it's a war party. Great, he says. And that is where we're going to leave this episode here. I mean, we're on to the big story. This is it, the finale. Let's see where it will go with this. And uh, hopefully not die, because we've travelled a long time to get here. Travelled a long way. And I don't think it's all for now. But by the by. Thank you for watching. As always a like is appreciated. And I shall catch you on the next one. Take it easy.